Oh, very intense. Hello and welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. And today we have an American whiskey on the cask. It's a bourbon, a classical bourbon, and it's called the Bib and Tucker. Oh, I don't know if you can read this. It says Bib and Tucker here. It says that down here as well. And it's an old style American bourbon. So um, it's an NDP whiskey means non-distillery product. So we don't know which stills it came from, pot stills, column stills, could be anything. Um, what we do know is they say it's 70% corn and the rest is rye and malt. So we don't know much how much malt and how much rye. So maybe it's a bit spicy, maybe it isn't. Um, it has 46% ABV and for the Americans that's a uh, 92 proof you always have to multiply by two to get the proof um, Yeah, there's a, a nice story here what Bib and Tucker actually is and it's actually clothing so During the um, during America's rough and tumble early days the term Bib and Tucker was used to describe your finest attire attire the kind you'd wear to a wedding or a special dance, along with those same lines of thinking we are putting forth our finest bib and tucker. Is a delight finest, uh, finest, full stop. Uh, bib and tucker. It's a delightful smooth bourbon sporting notes of chestnut and it's crafted with a sense of dedication that can only come uh, when you know know you are making something truly special okay and what is really cool is um whoop, light they have a uh, they have a batch number it's batch number three and it's bottle number 19,631 so it's mm, not a small batch but it's a batch and uh, you see a bit of ripped off uh, label that's because uh, we got all the the bottles um, they come faulty and we taste them in front of the camera and all the good bottles go out to the customers so and here it's it's a bit unusual to not have a cap but this this linen on uh, the string on top that holds the cork in it says why it's a fine time to drink okay fine time indeed are you supposed to cut it Hmm. No, you can open it like that. That's odd. It's cylindrical shaped. Uh, and there's no like little, little edge at the bottom to uh, guide it into the bottle. So hmm. unusual corking of the bottle. The bottle actually use, looks unusual as well and you can already smell the whiskey going around in the room. It's a bourbon so no coloring. Doesn't say anywhere if it's chill filtered or not. So nice color and it's a six-year-old bourbon i found that somewhere it's six years old oh very intense caramel and yes maybe i read it and now i got the impression but yes there is chestnut in there cinnamon it has that typical bourbon vanilla caramel style so yes vanilla it really really smells smooth with a hint of hint of spiciness mm. Oh, 
oh yeah intense flavor mm, sweet slightly attacking on your tongue so you have that little tingly feeling I got more oak than expected it's six years old six years old is not not three years or a very very short period but it's not a long period like let's say uh, Elijah cake 12 has 12 years so a bit more intense flavor with oak and um, when they learn caramel than expected mm. Yeah, reminds a bit of roasted chestnut. Not very dominant in the back. In, in the front you have a, a very dominant oak for my taste with notes of vanilla and honey, uh, caramel. Mm, you could argue there's honey in there as well. Mm. So it's, it's a typical bourbon with a bit more on the wood side and giving that more of a hefty flavor so check around these bottles I think they are sold internationally so you might find them in the shelf of your local dealer or anywhere you you might not expect it so um, thank you for watching and if you like this video then please feel free to share or like it